Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is now playing in theaters. There's two post credit scenes we need to talk about, and I'm gonna break them down for you. Every MCU movie loves leaving us excited for more with teases by the end with all its post credit scenes, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is no exception. Now, obviously, I will have to discuss some spoilers from the film, some details here and there that connect to these scenes, but a spoiler review itself will be coming tomorrow. I hope to see you there. Let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments below. What did you take away from these post credit scenes? And if you love this MCU coverage, if you love these reviews, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future conversation on your favorite MCU movies and TV. I actually want to start with the second post credit scene because it's one of those jokey ones. It's very light. It doesn't mean anything. It belongs in the universe we're probably never going to see again. And that is when we meet up again with Bruce Campbell's hot dog vendor still punching himself. Maybe it has been three weeks. Maybe it has just been a few hours, but he finally stops. He can finally control himself, looks directly at the camera and screams with joy that it's over and it cuts to black. Not the first time in the film as a whole where characters look directly at the camera. There's a trailer out there where we've seen Wanda herself look at the camera when our Scarlet Witch transports herself into that Wanda's body and dream walks into that universe. But I want to talk about that first post credit scene. As I said, the second one is light. It's fun. Doesn't mean anything. The first one, where we are seeing Stephen Strange walking around New York City, no third eye open after that shocking ending of the film, after the repercussions of using the Darkhold came to a head, and suddenly Charlize Theron just drops by, opens a portal to the Dark Dimension, where Dormammu reigns supreme, and accuses Stephen Strange of having caused an incursion, asks him if he's afraid, and he just willingly opens his third eye and jumps in with her. Exciting. I know. But before we talk about Charlize Theron being in the MCU, what this could mean for the future, let's talk about Clea. For those who don't know, she in the comics is the niece of Dormammu. She is a dimension hopper, similarly to America Chavez, we even see her in the scene using a sort of magical dagger to open a portal as if it was a tear in reality. And she has been many things to Stephen Strange. Being someone who was born in the Dark Dimension, she has been a sworn enemy of his. She has been an ally and apprentice of his. At points, she even became his wife. She even became the Sorcerer Supreme of the Dark Dimension, and she also recently became the Sorcerer Supreme of Earth and Doctor Strange herself after Stephen Strange was murdered. And that still stands. That is the case in the comics as of the recording of this video. And before we address the possible repercussions and what this means for the future of the Doctor Strange franchise and the MCU as a whole, Charlize Theron, man, I believe it was around fall, September or October, where she was being interviewed for something and she was asked about the MCU and she said she had never been asked about being in one of these. I am never trusting actors again regarding being in MCU movies because they just, they just lie, man. And good on them for lying, but not trusting anyone again. And if they say they're not in it, I'm gonna keep my eye closed because I'm gonna suspect they are in it. Now as for the future of this franchise, with the presence of Clea as played by Charlize Theron with Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, now that he has his third eye open, he can himself dreamwalk into other versions of himself. He can himself jump into other dimensions. His power is limitless and i think we could see a corruption of stephen strange i think it's so exciting now that he crossed over into the dark dimension where it might even break the truth that he arranged with dormammu in the first film where dormammu leaves earth alone and stephen strange won't bother him in his dimension but now he's going there maybe this is a trap from clea maybe by the time the next film starts He's just imprisoned or something like we saw Thor imprisoned by Surtur in Thor Ragnarok. I don't know, but now 
it's going to be truly madness because now we don't need any strange MacGuffins or the use of America Chavez to jump through the multiverse. Now Stephen Strange can control this. Now he has Clea as well who can control this. Now we open the possibilities of other characters being brought into the 616 dimension and not just Stephen Strange hopping around like he did in this film. But it's all very exciting. Furthermore, we still need to actually explore how and if Stephen Strange has learned to control that third eye, if he still has some dark secrets he's keeping from us and from Wong, are we seeing this corruption of Stephen Strange? Are we seeing him becoming that dark Strange from the third act of the film? I don't know, but I'm very excited to find out hopefully soon as we dive deeper and deeper into the mysticism side of the MCU. But that's my breakdown, that's my explanation of those post credit scenes, or at least one of them. There's not really much to explain in the second one with Bruce Campbell, but it's still fun. What are your thoughts on it? What do you want to see Clea and Doctor Strange do together? Do you want to see them as friends, as enemies? Anything and everything down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the spoiler review for the Easter eggs breakdown. There's my spoiler free review right up there right now. And my review of Moon Knight. The finale is also up. You can also check that out right up here. Thank you so much for watching. You are the best. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those reviews. And thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel. And until the next one, love each other. I love the movies.